Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm here with Celine and welcome to a new video. And so as you could tell by the title, today is going to be a tour of Celine's crib. So before we get started, as always, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get into this video. So real quick, for those of you as she falls asleep, <laughs> For those of you that did not know, Celine is, most people would consider her a teacup Yorkie. Basically, she is three pounds and she will be four years old in a little over a month. So she is as big as she's going to get. But Celine's kind of daily like safe haven is a crib. It is a real baby crib. But I use it very specifically because it just works for her and her schedule and everything. Not because I think it's supposed to work, but because it truly does work. And you guys will see that in a minute here. Celine is not dressed up today, or at least right now. Her little haircut. <laughs> but um, Celine is not dressed up. She just has her bow in her hair because I wanted to show you how she is in her crib. I do not put clothes on her. I do not put a collar on her. The clothes I think would be a, a bit hot and you'll see why. And then I do not put a collar on Celine in her crib or a necklace or anything because I've left her in there before for maybe five minutes. And she, I came back, she was like practically choking herself. I think because her neck is so small, and she kind of just like wiggled out of it. I just take it out. So all she has on is her little bow. And let's jump into this. If you guys would like to know any of the products that are in her crib, just let me know in the comments below. And I can add that to the description or to the video for you guys. So yeah. Okay, so here we are in Celine's crib. It is a gray crib. I got it from Target. And... If I can still find it, I'll try to link it for you guys, but I just have it to match my room. My room is very gray slash silver aesthetic, and I wanted it to match. So basically, she has a crib skirt, and it's like mermaid because we're getting into the summer months, and then she's got a mermaid... Um, excuse me, comforter that I just lay across the back. She doesn't really mess with it, so I like to leave it for display. I've been looking for a Minnie Mouse one, and I'm still going to continue looking for one. But basically, Selena's not in here all day long. She is just in here for when either everybody is out. Typically, if I'm at work, my mom is here with her. But if my mom has to leave out or something, like she's in here. And she has everything she needs. The reason she has so much stuff in here is because she is three pounds. She is not nearly as hypoglycemic as she used to be, but she definitely can get there. So we'll go through all the products and everything. But I like to do themes. So this go around, we're doing a Disney theme. So long as her stomach, because as you guys may already know, Celine has her own set of stomach issues. So as long as she hasn't had like a mishap with her stomach where she like has diarrhea everywhere i typically change this once a week when she gets her bath or if it just gets messy i'll just change it it's not a big deal so basically we have a Minnie mouse theme today so this is her little bed i think these are supposed to be like cat beds but it's super cute i've been looking for the pink one for the longest time and they finally had it at tj maxx and then this is just a little pillow that comes inside of it. And then I like to do matching toys, of course. So this is just her little Chewy Vuitton multicolor. And then she loves soft toys. So this is just a little hippo toy with a little blanket. And then she also loves burrow toys. So I just use her seahorse toy to match her little tropical mermaid theme a little bit. At least until I get the Minnie Mouse comforter set. And then I got this really soft Minnie Mouse blanket from TJ Maxx. I feel like they have the best blankets for babies and, of course, like little dogs. Celine loves soft things, so I just tend to get her a ton of soft toys, a ton of soft blankets especially. 
they're great for her being in her crib or when we go out especially if it's like winter time or like late fall this is another reason why i don't put clothes on her when she's in her bed because but especially like being in this like warm like burrow kind of bed and then having these really thicker like blank fleece blankets she already gets pretty warm so i tend to leave clothes off of her and then she loves pillows so i got her this little pillow i think it was from a set out of like joann's or something but yeah i typically will have another toy her toy with like the the duo toy with like the hard part on it i have it i think it's in her stroller so i don't have it up here right now but she does have toys with like the harder parts and lining this whole entire crib is a piece of coroplast, which is like signage material. If you've ever had guinea pigs or like small animals, mainly guinea pigs, a lot of people use the cubes and coroplast, like the coroplast like signage material. It's easy to wipe and it's sturdy. And so that's what I use as the base because I don't want her to accidentally pee on like an actual mattress. And then I got to get a new mattress. So <laughs> that's why. But I also use a sheet and then I use a like, we have this sheet on here right now. And then I just use a towel. These are just absorbent layers to create a little bit of padding. But also if she does pee or have like runny like poop or anything, I'm not destroying her entire bed. Puppy pads. We use lots of puppy pads in this house. Selena is an indoor bathroom type of dog. Um, she did go to the bathroom outside at the beach, I think because another dog had went like in that area, but 99.9999% of the time she goes indoors. And so she has puppy pads. I have two just in case she, she likes to go like if I'm gone for a while, somebody's gone for a while and they don't pick it up she will go in one spot and then go in a totally different spot. She's one of those dogs that like when she goes to the bathroom, she will let you know, hey, I went to the bathroom, please get this out of here, especially if she poops. But when she pees as well, she'll let you know, one, so that she can get back out and two, so that you can get it up because she does not want to be anywhere near it. So if nobody's here to clean it up right away, she'll go in a different spot if she has to go again. So I just give her the lay of the land, give her some options. And then I use this placemat. It's actually very convenient. This is like the Chewy Vuitton multicolor print, but it's convenient when she has her um, homemade food because it is um, like rice and everything. So she might get the rice everywhere and then I can just wipe it off. I also give her yogurt and if she gets yogurt everywhere, I can just wipe it off. I also have a pad under this mat because I've noticed before that if she makes a mess, it slips between this crack right here and like it gets on the floor and I just, I do not want any bugs or anything. So to combat that happening without my knowledge, I just put this up and I create this like barrier so that if like see these little two pieces of rice if they were to fall over they just fall into the pad and I can just pick the pad up it might seem like wasteful but I have to buy the pads anyway so it doesn't matter all right and then that also brings us to why Celine has a plate and a bowl this is a little pink bowl with the stainless steel bowl inside or I guess bowl holder stainless steel bowl for her water that gets changed out cleaned every day. This gets changed out cleaned um, every time she eats, which is like every four hours, depending on if she's really hungry or not. But this is like a little like cat dish and I like it because it's sturdy. So when she eats like her food and she starts moving it around the bowl, the plate doesn't move versus these bowls. You see how this is like kind of loose when she used to eat her homemade food in the bowl, it would like tip and it just would like freak her out. So these perfect for her right now. I do have the matching food bowl. Like I said, I just, it's not very convenient for homemade food. So we do that. And then I also lined her crib. I, one, when she was a puppy, she used to chew a lot on the bars. 
and I don't even think I have, here's one that I can show you. She's chewed on that one quite a bit. Not terrible, but she has chewed on it. And then once I put these up, it was fine. Um, I like to leave them super low. So you'll notice like here is the edge of the bed, but I will typically like pull them down just so that she has breathing um, air coming in and out. And I know obviously the top is open, but I still like to leave it like that. And it works fine. It does deter her from chewing on the actual side of the crib. But yeah, those are generally the essentials. When I change it out, I will give her a new bed. She has a ton of beds, whether it's one of these burrow beds or like a regular big plush dog bed. I will put one of those in there. She'll get a blanket if she, or two blankets usually. If it's cold out, she'll get three and she kind of just does what she wants to do, make her own bed situation up and all this other stuff. So yeah, if you have any questions, like I said, this is very convenient. It works when we're out. She has everything she needs and she does typically get unlimited access to water as always and then food. She eats on a pretty good schedule anyways. If I'm gone super long, I might give her something just to hold her over. But nobody's usually gone that long where she's going to be like starving unless she's starving herself, which she does sometimes. That's a whole different conversation for a whole different video. But I just wanted to show this to you guys in case you have these little teacup dogs or like puppies that maybe need access to all of this stuff at once at all times. And this is a really good situation that works for us. You can always use something that's on the floor, like a, a regular pen, and do the same kind of makeshift like setup. But in general, this is what we're using, and it it just it works out super well. Um, so yeah. And here's Celine. For those of you that were looking for, I put I put her toys back. So now she's like freaking out. Now she's trying to figure out why I just did that. I just messed up her whole bed. And this is usually what she does because she's not in here all day. She's usually out with me or someone else. And she's trying to figure out why she's in here right now. <laughs> why are you doing this? Yeah, I, I totally messed up her bed situation. So now she has to fix it. So that is it for the crib tour. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this. And thank you all so much. Like I said, if you have any questions about the products that are in that were in this video or just questions about the setup or how your setup should be, just let me know. And thank you so much for watching. And Celine and I will see you in the next video.